Yo, yo, Daily Fire, episode 218. If it's trash, turn it off. But if it has value, please share it out for me. Of course, it's brought to you by MaxEffortMuscle.com. For all your supplement needs, go to Max Effort Muscle. All right, Daily Fire, this is the last in the cigar series. I'm walking around the house just laying out some Daily Fires. All right, tackle the situation head on. I'm walk up my driveway here. Yo, there's a lot of things that create anxiety. One of them's situations you know you need to handle. I'm not gonna say I'm, I got ultimate poise in these situations all the time, because I don't. A lot of times I let them hang on too long. A lot of times they might have a lot of zeros attached to them. They might have a lot of relationships attached to them. But here's the thing, you already know what the inevitable is, you gotta handle it. So I always know like, I'll take a deep breath, go straight down the middle and handle it. Not on some like, I've heard Nipsey talk about this, not on some like super tough guy shit, cause that's not what it is. But it's just like with, on some man shit, you just gotta handle it on some person shit, really. You just gotta handle the situation. You know it's gonna be handled. You know it's bothering the crap out of you. You know it's holding you back. That's the thing, it's holding you back. Like, I don't wanna be held back. And if I know a motherfucker or a situation or whatever's holding me back, I think tackle that bitch head on. Every time I tackle shit head on, man, I've, there's been a blessing on the other side. Oh, it's windy, I'm gonna go this way. Oh, I don't know, it's gonna mess up the audio, but I'm tackling it head on right now. So that's the thing is like, you know you gotta handle it. You know it's gonna, it's like ripping the band-aid off. You know it's gonna fucking suck, but the faster, the, the more efficient, the more relentless you are to go after and handle it, then you can start building, then you can recover, then you can move on. Like the day when I was done at MP, I just got up and knew it. So I didn't just deny it for a long period of time. I just said, man, fuck this. I'm going on to the next thing. It's time for me to move on. I'm gonna tackle it head on and go. When I did my buyout, it was the same way. When I've done all kinds of shit in my life, eventually, look, I should have handled some shit faster than I did, but it just is what it is. You finally muster up enough like oomph to say, I'm gonna tackle this shit head on. I'm gonna handle it and then I'm gonna keep it moving. Cause usually, especially when it's like an uncomfortable, maybe bad situation, you gotta get through that shit so you can build on the flip side. And so that blessing is gonna be there so you can have no restraints and no fucking, you ain't got like the ball and chain hanging behind you. You can just keep it moving. And that stuff right there, I'm gonna tell you what, every time I tackle hard shit head on and get it behind me, I always think to myself, man, the fuck took me so long? Why did I wait so long to handle that? Not everything's easy, man. Not everything just happens. You don't always got the courage to do it in the right situation. You just gotta do it when it makes sense or not when it makes sense, just when you finally muster up the oomph to just get it done. So episode two, I don't know, 15, 16, 18, tackle shit head on, daily fire, we out.